Glaciers and rainfall here in the Andes, about 100 kilometers east of Lima, provide water for the Peruvian capital. People living near the reservoir say they see the climate changing. These peaks were all once covered in snow, this woman says, but it hasn't snowed here for four or five years now. Agronomist Christian Leon works on a project funded by Germany's research ministry. Its objective is to develop sustainable water management systems for Lima and its nine million inhabitants. Due to climate change, the rains are coming later than they used to. That's a problem for managing the water in the reservoirs because they only fill later in the year, though the demand is always there in Lima. In Lima itself, the world's second largest desert city, it almost never rains. Water is in short supply. But you wouldn't know it in the city center where there are more than 120 parks and gardens. The state water utility, CEDAPAL, has started to inform the public about water conservation. School children, for example, are taken on field trips to purification plants. Some say the price of tap water is too low. There's no incentive to use less. But CEDAPAL doesn't set the price, a government agency does. Leon says his project Lima Water, or LIWA, wants to get the various bodies to cooperate to develop a long-term water management strategy. Because the municipality and Sedapal are independent entities and do not have any direct connection to one another, they have to be brought together so they can talk. And that's what we're trying to do with our project, LIWA. Lima's growing population will need more water. In outlying hilly areas, there's a lot of water in the air in winter. Fog collectors can yield 250 liters a day. Christian Leon says it's an effective and cheap method and could be used much more widely. Fog collectors are still a rare sight here in Peru, but that could soon change. The demand for water in Lima is sure to rise.